The latest Samsung Galaxy J1 2016 has recently received a revamp through the new Galaxy J1 Mini. So what does the J1 Mini bring to the table? Let's find out. Mabuhay everyone! This is Jade of MoneyShaker.com and this is our unboxing and hands-on review of the ultra-budget Samsung Galaxy J1 Mini 2016 edition. The retail backs of the Galaxy J1 Mini has similar design elements as is to the Galaxy series launched this year. Aside from the black variant inside, there's also a gold and white options. A free local SIM card with up to 3.5G network support is included too. Sadly, both J1 models aren't 4G enabled. Other contents include the usual suspects, a set of instruction papers, a stereo headset in white with integrated microphone, a 0.7 ampere power adapter, and a 1500mAh removable battery. Moving on the device, the Galaxy J1 Mini borrows a lot of design elements from the full J1 version. The front houses the 4-inch LCD screen, VGA selfie camera, home button with capacitive navigation keys, volume rocker on the left and power button on the right, headphone jack on the top, and micro USB at the bottom. The J1 Mini supports dual microSIM and up to 128GB microSD card support. It runs the latest touch trees on top of Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. Out of the box, we have no word yet from Samsung if this will be updated to Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Nevertheless, the software experience is somewhat rich given this is the most low-end phone from Samsung. Internal specs are modest with a quad-core spread through Processor clock at 1.2 GHz, paired with 768 MB RAM, 8 GB internal storage, with 4.5 GB usable memory. Despite lagging in benchmarks, the Galaxy J1 Mini was able to keep up in all heavy games. We tried running COC and Clash Royale without a problem. Subscribe and like this video if you want to see more intensive gaming and speed test review. Or let us know in the comments. Aside from running intensively your graphic games, the J1 Mini surprisingly plays HD movie in MP4 and MKV format smoothly. Speaker at the back is satisfying for an ultra low end device. More in the camera, the main sensor is 5 megapixel and shoots 720p HD video. Its fixed focus, similar to the 0.3 megapixel VGA selfie snapper on the front. Quality is what you expect from an $80 phone, mediocre but usable. Overall, the J1 Mini is a great option for those looking to get a taste of Android 5.1 Lollipop in the most affordable way. If you want to see the Galaxy J1 Mini more in actions, let us know what specific areas we should test. As usual, visit manidashaker.com for more reviews and comparisons. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Thank you for watching. This is Jade, Mabuhay Manila.